In this section, I'm going to introduce to you the PPC curve, or the production possibility curve. The production possibility curve is a curve that indicates to us the combination of two goods. Looking at the graph, the quantity of blankets and the quantity of pillows that can be produced with a fixed amount of inputs. The inputs, your labor and machines. My example will keep it fairly simple. I will only use labor. And therefore, looking at the table, you see that in this exercise, this company employs only six workers. And at point A, all six workers are allocated to pillow production. These six workers can produce 50 pillows per day, but because we have allocated zero workers to blanket production, the quantity of blankets produced is zero. So how do we show it on the PPC curve point A? Here at zero, which represents the quantity of blankets, I draw a line upwards until it meets the pillow quantity at 50, which is on my vertical axis. That becomes then point A. But no company wants to specialize in only one product. They want to diversify, and therefore they need also to divide their labor. And when they divide their labor, it implies, obviously, that the production of pillows will reduce as we increase our production of blankets. Looking at point B, you see now that five of the six workers are allocated to pillow production. And therefore, these five workers can manufacture 47 pillows. With the one worker allocated to blanket production, you find that the quantity of blankets produced is one. So to plot point B on the PPC curve, here at one, I draw a line upwards. And approximately halfway between 45 and 50, there you put in 47 and you draw a line across. And that represents then point B. At point C, however, you find now that four of the six workers are allocated to pillow production, and therefore my pillow production decreases from 47 to 42. But with the two workers allocated to blanket production, my blanket production increases from one blanket to two. So to plot point C, at point C, what do we find? Here, just above 40, I indicate 42 and I draw a line across and that then represents point C, 42 pillows and two blankets. At point D, I'm having three workers allocated to each of the two products. So therefore my pillow production at point D is 35 and my blanket production is three. So at 35, I draw a line across. At three units, I draw a line upwards. And where the two meet, that represents point D. Point D, only two workers allocated to pillow production, but four workers allocated to blanket production. My pillow production, that is equal to 20, but my blanket production increases to four. So here at 20, I draw a line across. And at four, I draw a line upwards. And where the two meet, that is then point E. Lastly, point F. Zero workers allocated to pillow production, so therefore my quantity of pillows is zero. Six workers allocated for blanket production, and they are able to produce five blankets. So Z here it's zero, which represents the quantity of pillows, and five, which represents the quantity of blankets. I make a dot, and that is point F. So now I've identified the coordinates. By combining these coordinates, we say to one another, points A to F represents my PPC curve, my production possibility curve.